Hey guys, it's Tony here from Game Freak Blog. Uh, just doing a little uh, follow-up video regarding my blog post regarding game manuals. I just thought I'd have a quick flick through some game manuals that I've got handy just to kind of uh, illustrate the points that I was trying to make during the blog post. So here we go first with, uh, this is a copy of uh, Gauntlets, uh, the uh, Commodore 64 disk drive version. So back in the day, you know, we weren't lucky enough to get all these full colour brochures. We've just got some, here's the actual disk. And then the brochure itself, this is the manual. This is what constituted a manual back in the day. So it's just some fold out paper, just detailing all the moves and everything like that. It's pretty uh, crappy stuff really. Uh, better than the Spectrum ones that were just kind of found on the inside of the tape uh, boxes themselves. So it wasn't all that bad. So then, you know, moving on to uh, maybe systems. So we've got R-Type here on the Master System, and the textbook score bit at the end but I mean just look how much foreign text was in this the English bit is this little row right here and then we've got German and French and Spanish and Klingon and whatever else that you need so you know the manuals weren't bad not really uh, illustrated really well but for some reason I kind of enjoyed uh, I mean look at that pitiful little screenshots there absolutely pathetic so then uh, from there going on to like the uh, Mega Drive Empire of Steel so we've got kind of like the same thing. I mean, this is just foreign, foreign, French, German, Spanish, rubbish. The actual English section. Let me just get to the English section here. There. So in a manual, that little section is the English bit there. All of that section. Brrr, loads of other languages. Complete waste of paper. Uh, so I can kind of see where EA is going with this point. Some of the manuals that I really did like were the uh, the, the Super Nintendo manuals, especially the Japanese ones. So I've got like uh, F Zero here. As you can see, it's really kind of nicely illustrated, nice comic strip to kind of start it all off, all in English, which was uh, again fairly nice. And then it kind of go on down to the uh, instructions bit there. Some nice illustrations for the uh, vehicles and the characters so all in all we'll give that one a thumbs up um so moving on just up to the uh, other ones we'll just jump in here so we've got sega bass fishing on the dreamcast again pretty uh, boring just black and white again with loads and loads of foreign polish bloody lots and lots of stuff there to the Xbox. Now, I really kind of like this one. This is the one for the uh, Halo 2 multiplayer map pack, which was kind of good. It's kind of like, as I said, when a manual does it right and it's a companion piece to the game, I don't mind. You know, it's got the maps here. Tells you where all the weapon loadouts are. Gives you a detail of the map. A few little uh, interviews with the game designers. So, you know, when a map's done well, I kind of really like it. It's really nice. Then moving on to the Nintendo Mario Kart Double Dash again, it's it's quite good. Goes into all the play modes, characters, the vehicles, all the combinations that you can use. Now the the manuals that I really do think always kind of like hit the spot are the manuals for the uh, the Metal Gear Solid games. There are, there's some of my favourite manuals out there. This is the one from the uh, Japanese version of the original uh, game, so we can see some nice character artwork there. Brilliant stuff, really good detail in there. Like that one. We've got Metal Gear 2, this is also the Japanese version. So, again, some nice uh, maps going in, some great screenshots and such. Nice little uh, cartoon type uh, things detailed in the moves, controls. Well, they always had these like comic strips in, which were uh, I really, really liked. Just going through telling you the moves and uh, stuff, but in a kind of cartoon book illustrated form. I really kind of like those. Pretty much the same with Metal Gear Solid 3. Nice character artwork and things. And again, these ones here, more, more kind of like taken from the game, more like screenshots, but done in a comic book style. But, uh, you know, I thought they were really good. Metal Gear Twin Snakes on the GameCube, again. Nice in colour. No comic strip in this one. Just basically a bastardised version of the other. And then go straight through to Metal Gear 4 on the PS3 as well. Again, look. I mean, just absolutely beautiful stuff. Jumping uh, in, one of my favourites. This is the actual uh, entire box. But this is like the uh, Ico set. So, you know, you've got the uh, manual. You've got the art cards and everything in here. But the actual uh, instruction manual itself is absolutely beautiful. I love it. The paper feels really nice. 
beautiful illustrations very minimalistic just kind of uh, you know repeating the style of what's actually in the game itself which you create so the shadow of the colossus one is uh, is fairly kind of similar as well and then to one of my favorites the grand theft auto liberty city guidebook it's not so much a uh, manual really it's more like a fictional guide for the actual city so you know you've got all the adverts for the uh, strip bars the uh, heart stopper six pound burger which uh, you know, looks quite appetizing to me absolutely fantastic book you know apart from the uh, lengthy credits and everything there then we get on to shit like this you know the recent home front absolutely found in there's your moves there's how you control the vehicles there's your multiplayer modes there's the this that and the other bollocks absolutely rubbish some of my favourite ones, though, go to uh, Demon Souls. You know, we've got the uh, strategy guide that was included with the uh, big version. It is absolutely, I mean, it weighs an absolute ton, but some of the artwork and uh, things are strategy absolutely indispensable. If you're ever playing Demon Souls, you really do uh, need to keep this at your side. It's a fantastic book. And again, you know, it comes with a lovely uh, art book as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous thing. So this was just a quick look at uh, the variety of kind of game manuals and everything that you get. Some good, uh, some not so good. But, you know, where are we going to be going with the news that EA are dispensing with their uh, manuals? They're going to be using uh, economically friendly game boxes. Well, here's my prediction of where we're going to be going. That. You go to the shop, you buy that. Shit. EA. Fuck right off.